give the question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so welcome, YouTube family. We're back. This is the third segment of the Q&A with my mom and dad about some very important topics um, in life. So this last question is to them. How do you cope with wanting to talk to your mom and dad, um, but not getting to because they're in heaven, you're here on earth, and you have great memories and things that they spoke into your life when you were younger, but you can't talk to them face to face right now. You can't be with them right now. Can't experience life with them right now. It's got to be very hard and very grieving. I know that they passed for them a long time ago, but so maybe if you want to share you know, how it was earlier on after their, the shortly mm -hmm. after their passing and you wanted to visit with your mom and dad, how did you cope with not getting to do it? Because now it's been so many years, you might have gotten used to the fact that, you know, you found other ways to cope with it. But shortly, kind of freshly after it happened, or even a year or two later, mm -hmm. how do you deal with that, not getting to talk to your mom and dad when you want to because they have passed away. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll start uh, with my with my daddy particularly and my mama, both of them. Uh, every year, I think, or every day or month, I realize more and more how blessed I was to have such a good mom and dad. Amen. Yeah, and I, and I don't know if they can hear me saying this now, but I mm -hmm. should have said it more. But uh, I, I realize that uh, because there's a lot of people, a lot of a lot of kids don't even know their mom and dad, have mm -hmm. don't know nothing about them, mm -hmm. uh, and they and they and it's just uh, I've just been blessed to have a a, a good mom and daddy, and as and Mr. and when my daddy passed away. Uh, Jeff Crawford said that he would fill in as much as he could to, to take the loss of my daddy. Wow. And, Je and Jeff, Jeff did some. Wow. But uh, Mr. Carter did a great deal. Your father. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I, I got to know him well, well. And, nice. and, we, and he would call me son. Oh. And, and I'd call him daddy. Oh, I love that. I love how your father-in-law uh, stepped in like that. And then... Uh, Okay, just this past week, uh, uh, we were singing a song or something, and and uh, 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 she was playing the piano, and uh, I remember that one of them, I think it was in the garden, was one of his uh, favorite songs, and mm -hmm. I forgot what what was the other one. The old rugged cross. The old rugged cross. Mm -hmm. And and for that to be his two favorite songs, mm -hmm. uh, there's a part in him that I. Really, really uh, wish I'd uh, got out of him more yeah. when, when he was living, yeah. because uh, anybody that has those two favorite songs, yeah. then then he he was uh, he he had God in his heart. Amen. That is so good. Thank what you. about your mom? Did you did you ever miss getting to talk to your mom shortly after she passed away? Uh, or did y'all ever talk much when you were older? Was you were getting because me and Josiah, he's 15 now, and I have to go to him to talk to him. Jacob will come to me some, but Josiah's got a different personality than Jacob, and so I'll go to Josiah and sometimes talk to him. But he's 15, and I can just imagine as he gets older and starts driving, it'll be less and less. I try to just speak into his life as I can, but I don't know how it was with you and grandma if y'all kind of had much. Did y'all talk we, much we, when you were a young a teenager? Or? We, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, I didn't have the relationship with yeah. my mother like I did with my daddy. Okay. Because during the summers and during the, even during, not only summer, uh, when we were living at the farm, uh, uh, it, it was me and my daddy sure. were working together and, okay. and didn't spend uh, time with my mom. I got but, you. but she, she, uh, I, uh, she, I had a real good relationship with my mom. Oh. Uh, uh, she but, was a blessing. But she was in very much a blessing. Sure. Uh, oh, that's good. When uh, uh, Mama died, Mama died first. She died in 2001. Are you talking about Grandma Shepherd? Gra yeah. Uh, Ultimate. No. no, no, no. Oh, you're I'm talking about, about my, your mama now. My mama now. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, because both of y'all's, your mom died um, first. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, Evelyn Carter. Um, uh, your daddy's mother died when she was 56, I believe. She was yeah, young. Yeah, 59. Oh. 
59. Yeah. She just turned 59. She was. Uh, I didn't know how old cancer. she was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was really sad. She was actually older than I thought she yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, then his daddy died when he was 73. 72, I think. Okay. 72. And my mama was um, 84 mm -hmm. uh, when she died. Okay. Um, she died in 2001. And um, I, I went through denial. <laughs> Some people handle yeah. it different ways. Mm -hmm. And I'm when I can't handle something, mm -hmm. I just don't think about it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't talk about mama. I didn't think about her. Because mm -hmm. if I did, I'd be a basket case. Mm -hmm. And so for two years, it took me two years to where I could even... Think about her. Oh, wow. And Daddy was the same way because um, Daddy was, um, he, he came here at the month, um, the next month after she died and stayed here with us for a month. And he said, um, we just don't talk about Mama. I said, that's right. We just don't talk about Mama. Oh. <laughs> we could not talk about Mama. We just couldn't. Because Him we too. He her loved so her much. so much. He yeah. missed her too. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, yeah. He did. Mm. And... Um, she was so, she was such an encourager. She was, uh, yeah. she knew things about me that nobody else knew, you know, mm. and she was, uh, we always talked. Uh, there was a, mm. a lot of times we would uh, call during the um, month. We would talk, not necessarily every week, but we Yeah, but we at least talk. once a month, y'all had a good yeah. conversation because she was in Melbourne, Florida, and you were mm -hmm. up here, so y'all didn't get to go see each other so often, but y'all visited on the mm -hmm. phone at least right. once a month, a good conversation mm -hmm. or... And we would try to go down, you know, as much as we could and take y'all to see her, mm -hmm. whether, no matter where we lived, you know, yeah. we would do that. But, yeah. and so I talked to mama a lot, but, um, yeah, when she died, it was like, yes, I know she's in heaven and I'm glad, but um, it was, I just couldn't think about her. I couldn't mm -hmm. talk. Um, and so the way I handled it was not the best way to do, but mm -hmm. I, I just, I couldn't go into that grief I, I just mm -hmm. can't go there some people can do that mm -hmm. you know and then go on and that's yeah. good if they can yeah but um so um you know I I don't know after that then I was able to think about I remember the first time I thought oh well I I thought about mama without crying <laughs> you yeah. know it just took me a while to get there wow. and um yeah. and so uh there were so many things that I have around that remind me of her, yeah. you know, and then I had, I brought her cookbook and, yeah. and her recipes and stuff. Mm. And so that was always fun. Oh. I always felt closer to her when I would cook on her, her recipes. recipes, you know, with oh. her handwriting. Yes. You know? I and love I loved that. it when she wrote a note in her handwriting because oh. she was so present in her handwriting. Uh -huh. To me, I could always feel her presence Special. and hear her when, um, so that would be oh. one way I would say if something, you know, um, nobody lives forever, and so yeah. I let except that Jesus would come back and get us. Yeah. Um, I always thought Mama wasn't going to die; she, she was going to live here until Jesus came. Mm -hmm. And and so it was that was a real shocker for me when mm -hmm. she died. I did yeah. not; I really did not expect her to die. Yeah. And even though she was in a bad way, um, she had had open heart surgery and uh, was uh, recovering from that, and it was just a very difficult thing back then. Yeah. And, Amazing the progress they've made in even you know the twenty okay. years since then. Okay, great. So um, anyway, that was one way that I would would um, uh, cope with it is um, for the at, at first I just plain didn't think about her or talk about her or anything. <laughs> I didn't talk to anybody about her. Mm. Um, that was just not not what I could do. Mm. And then um, started reading her some of her stuff that she sent me some cards that she had sent and written a note oh. and um, her recipes and then mm -hmm. um then I, I got to where i could talk to god about it and say you know would you tell mama this because oh, <laughs> you know i really am sorry sweet. about it. i did this but i wanted her to know that i was sorry oh. so you tell her oh and he could <laughs> i love that because he could do that that's it you know, yeah. it is a real place. He's right there with her, and he could definitely yeah. say that to her, and and amends were made, or whatever yeah. needed to be made. Right. It's yeah. like, 
uh, heaven is another country. Yeah. Like, I can't go to Europe. It's across yeah. the ocean. <laughs> you know? Some people can, but and not some, us. Not us, yeah. So, some people can. And yeah. and if they were over there, well, it would be like, well, they were living, yeah. you know, but I can't get to them. Exactly. Well, it's the Good same point. way. Good point. Heaven is um, in it's another place. Yeah. It is a perfect place, an yeah. awesome place, and I know that they're so happy being yeah. there. But... Um, that's why I know God can communicate for him. Yeah, for me and I to absolutely him. love what you said there because I, because I I know some people feel like that they can just talk straight to their deceased or whatever mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. the, like you see in movies or cartoons or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I love how you put mm -hmm. Jesus there. That Jesus, can you please go tell Mama this? And Jesus can do that. That's right. I because, love that. I've never. Yeah. Heard of that or thought of that? I love that. Well, in the Old Testament, there's a story about Saul. I mean, Samuel. He and and Saul, uh, the king, King Saul, and Samuel. Samuel died, and um, Saul missed him so badly, mm -hmm. and he had a question he had to ask him. Mm -hmm. And even though he knew he wasn't supposed to go to a soothsayer, uh, right? He went to a mediator went to or to a median. Median. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He but sure that's did. That's witchcraft. It is. And so <laughs> God said, um, I mean, so he, anyway, Samuel um, came, appearance of him came, and um, and he, he said, Why do you him, wait? He you said, did not, you are not supposed to do this. Right. He, he you know, was upset that he yeah, called him. That's right. <laughs> and so the, we learn from scripture that if we think that we are talking to somebody that's dead, mm -hmm. then that's a very, very dangerous very thing dangerous. to do. Very, very dangerous. Because the enemy not, has a way of, yeah. of um, yeah. um, mimicking it, mimicking, yeah. copy, doing mm -hmm. a copy of it. Um, mm -hmm. But on the other hand, he does sometimes allow the person to come and appear to him. Mm -hmm. Like my brother, when mama died, he, he my younger brother, he had mm -hmm. a hard time with it too. And But one day he was out on the... Um, park bench and thinking about her and he said he just he knows he said you might think I'm crazy but mama came to me and said mm -hmm. I'm okay oh and, that is awesome and that she loved him yeah That's it awesome. was it was awesome so there are times when um, you know God may do that for us mm -hmm. but um, that is not a norm yeah but the the thing is they are in a country another country mm -hmm. heaven and they are happy, mm -hmm. and so I am grateful for that. Mm -hmm. The 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 void that you have when yeah. they are gone. Yeah. Um. I still miss Mama. Okay. I mean, last yeah. uh, when, uh, last month I said yeah. something. I thought oh, I want to call Mama. You know? Yes. And I had to, I catch myself, and yes. I think we do that automatically. Yes. And in the same yes. way, when Daddy died, he died. He was ninety. Ninety when he died, and. Um, congestive heart failure and uh, I was sorry that I had not asked him a lot of questions just like what uh, Frank mm. was saying mm. that there's if you want to ask if so, if they say something and you want to know what it is what did that really come from where did yes you know, good yeah then you better ask them now That's, because yeah. you will wonder, wonder after yeah. they're gone That's a good point. you know after we're gone yeah. you'll want to know well what were they what yeah. would they say to me now yeah and um, so it's really important for us to communicate now. I love it, yeah. Because um, those are the things that you will wish that you had if you didn't. Exactly. And Daddy knew things that I did not know that he knew yeah. until he was, you know, in his late 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, so... Uh, so I, Daddy, so that you're... So my dad. Frank knew some things about... No, about no, my Charles. daddy. Charles knew some things about Frank. Oh, no, your daddy. No, no, okay, dad. I thought my you were dad, leading yeah. toward dad. <laughs> no, my okay, dad. Okay, your sorry. daddy. My dad. You didn't know yeah. some things about him until he was in his eighties that he yeah, shared. Yeah, right, right. And yes. then he would have given me advice on. Oh, you know, if, yeah. And because he was a, he was good about giving advice. Yes, and mm -hmm. he was, and he gave you some. I remember yeah. about uh, dating. And yeah, was a really he did. Good thing. Yeah, and what I have learned is over the years, here he was a colonel in the Air Force and running large corporations. Um, when he retired and went to the other, um, other business, mm -hmm. you know, he yeah. was so, um, 
intelligent and mm -hmm. he loved the Lord. He taught Sunday school, read the yeah. Bible, studied it for a, a, as long as we were around, you know, mm. for 50, awesome. you know, 30 years. He I was um, a, a Bible teacher. Wow. And so, but I didn't glean that from him, like mm. Frank was saying. Uh, we did not uh, talk so much about that. Right. It didn't come up in his conversations, though. He had a wealth of it. Right. He probably didn't talk about it as much like his Otto and Donna Stats Club did. Yeah, and the other thing, though, that, um, and I think this is something that we, that is a shame for us as mm -hmm. uh, people. But for me, um, uh, it, he, Daddy um, drank um, in the evening. He would mm -hmm. take um, three drinks, maybe, mm -hmm. um, of uh, of something, mm -hmm. um, and um, that really bothered Mama, mm -hmm. and he really wanted. Um, he never wanted to quit because he didn't want anybody telling him what to do. That mm -hmm. was just that aspect of him. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, there was a prejudice that in my, in me, that he did not, I couldn't receive from him. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I, I just couldn't talk to him about those mm -hmm. things, Christian, um, the mm -hmm. word and stuff like that. Yeah. It's now funny how know, something that an action that they do can make it hinder you from feeling like you can go to them about, right. about Maybe the Whatever. questions that you had about the spiritual things or... Yeah, but I was mm -hmm. wrong. Right. And see, that was the whole point when two years before Mama died, he quit drinking because Mama mm -hmm. wanted him to. And he said he wished he'd have quit a long time ago because yeah. it made her so happy. And Aww. he did not know that it would make her ha that happy. Yeah. And that yeah. it would make that much difference if he yeah. quit drinking. That's and good. so he learned, but it was late, you know. Yeah. Uh, they only had two years together with that. But they were so happy when when Mama died. Yeah. And so for me, it was um, when I can't prejudge anybody. Everybody's got their own walk. Mm -hmm. And I want to accept, I want love to cover over a multitude of sins, like the Bible yeah. says. So it's important to, um, you know, I, like I said, it stopped me from asking questions that I wished I'd asked. Yeah. So make sure you ask the questions. That's the big thing. Yeah. Have memories that you. I don't. Know what she's doing. Yeah. That's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't do the everyday stuff that much unless it's a group text, and then yeah. I, and then we talk that way, which is good. That's helpful for me. Um, yeah. At least we're communicating a lot more than I do with anybody else with yeah. our thread, um, with the sisters. Um, but that's a and to have the video is really good because when we're not that's here, that's really helpful you'll be for able me. Able to have that. You know, yes. and I have a video of mom and daddy, but I haven't um, seen it yet. <laughs> it was when they had their 50th anniversary. You remember it's that? It's on a VHS. And, yeah. We'll have to get out your VHS and yeah. watch it. And we've been married 54 years now. Yes. So, You've been married 54. You so much. Thank you. Yeah. And yes, Appreciate I love this. the longevity of y'all's marriage and what y'all, how y'all have learned to um, work in a marriage together mm -hmm. and keep it strong and healthy. Um, I just remember at Christmas time being with Uncle Jimmy and Aunt Tim and all of us together downstairs and just getting to reminisce about Grandma and Granddaddy and I loved, I love that. I think that just this and I, I know Uncle Jimmy said that he really liked getting to share the stories and um, I think that's gonna help me is being able to talk about y'all and um share you know what y'all taught me to my kids i would want to probably share more to them just because i want to pass down your legacy to my kids so i think talking about y'all is what's going to help me um get through that time and one day we'll all be together again in heaven that's right there's one thing i want you to know is that what we try to do is build you our ceiling where yeah. we where we are our ceiling, what we've learned, what we've gained, what what the spirits taught us, what what the Lord has um, brought us through, um, the trials that we've been through, and the victories that we've won, that is our ceiling, mm -hmm. and we can go so high, but mm -hmm. we pray and we hope that that is your floor, yeah. and that's the way it should be. The next generation yeah. should build on the past generation's yeah. victories and failures and things that they learned, yeah. because um, good. then you go that much farther. That's you good. know, then you'll go another, you know, yeah. and then your kids will do the same thing to you. So no, that'd be great. Yeah, um, we're that'd building on the ceiling of the ones who went before us so that, that um, we have, 
like Otto and Donna were big in in our lives. That I know we're going to talk about them in another segment. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> well, what what do you, what about them? What about Otto and Donna? Your mentors, your spiritual mentors. Is there anything that you want to share about not getting to talk to them anymore? Anything that stands out to you as to how do you cope with? But you see, that's a little different than you your mom and do dad that now that's or. Really do it at another time. Let's do it. Um, if you have if you have something to share, let's go ahead and share it now. But if not, then we'll just. Well, always. Uh, they they were at a different spiritual level and had been exposed to stuff that my mom and daddy hadn't been exposed to as as far as uh, the spiritual level. Yeah. So. I, I, a lot of times I refer to them as my spiritual mom and daddy. Yes. That doesn't, I don't, I don't want to mean that my mom and daddy was not spiritual. Right, they, they were. Just, they were at a different level. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's just that they, uh, they were, uh, it's just like uh, Kay shared about uh, going to Dr. Davis's small group. Uh, Donna, Donna and Otto were two of the main, I think, people there at 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 that meeting. Yeah. And we got to participate in that for about a year, and uh, and and we haven't we have I haven't experienced that a whole lot with uh, with uh, my mom and daddy, you know. Yeah. Like so it's just it's nice it's that just God brought them thing. in your life. And then also mentors and stuff. Uh, 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 I feel like that you can have a favorite author of a book and you can call them your mentors. Oh, too. that's good, Daddy. They're not, they're not your flesh and blood like yep. Otto and Donna, but they they put into you spiritually. That's good. Their, their heart by reading their book. That's how I feel about and Joyce I, Myers and sometimes. I never, mm-hmm. yeah. And I never, mm-hmm. I never did. I thought your mentor had to be a flesh and blood person, but it doesn't. I love that. Thank you, Daddy. So you you find your good book. Someone's going to speak into you. We got (laughs) Speak into you life and encourage you spiritually to keep growing. I love it. Well, I appreciate my mom and dad and them taking the time to um, share these things and being so um, open and just vulnerable. Vulnerable? How do you say vulnerable. that? Vulnerable <laughs> to um, open up with y'all because I'm going to just share this with y'all as well. But a lot of it's for my own keepsake and for my boys' keepsake if they ever want to tune in when they're older so they can hear their, their grandma and granddaddy um, share these words. But I um, hope it encourages you and blessings. We'll see you next time. Hi, YouTube family. I just wanted to get on and explain a not really even explain. I don't want to go into detail, but my eyes were closed so much during those three interviews with my parents that um, there was a lot going on in my mind before the q and I had just gotten and received a phone call um, prior to the Q&A, and the phone call was not good, and it was just very discouraging, disheartening, and then I had to jump right into that Q&A, so... My, my my eyes were closed a lot during the video because my mind was going back to that conversation that I had with that person right before the Q&A over the phone. And it was just, I didn't have any time to digest it. I didn't have any time to to do any kind of remedy of it. I had to just jump right into the Q&A. And, and eventually, in, towards the end of the Q&A, I think my mom, yeah, my mom, my dad, and I prayed together because I was just sharing with them some, that conversation that was on my mind a little bit about it not in detail but just there was something going on there that needed to be prayed over and um but still my eyes were just shut quite a lot during the Q&A and I just wanted to kind of explain what was going on in my mind that there's a lot that was um just running around in my mind after that disturbing conversation that I had over the phone with some with another loved one. But anyway, um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.